Welcome back to the channel. A main problem with getting into PC gaming is getting the damn computer itself. Hardware is super hard to come across right now, but luckily you can somewhat still buy the peripherals that you want, with a few exceptions here and there. I got this awesome cheapo wireless gaming mouse here. The K-Snake BM600 coming in at around $25 on Amazon. Links are below if you want to check it out. Let's see if this mouse here is worth buying or should you save your money. Unboxing this mouse is a pleasant experience. There isn't too much unnecessary stuff in the box. Just the mouse and the cable and the normal user manual, but not with 50,000 languages. This mouse has a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connectivity USB type A charging would have been so awesome to see USB C in this mouse at this price range But what the hell this mouse is weighing in at 98 grams and then 96 grams Without the wireless receiver in the mouse, which is what you guys will be playing it with because you need the wireless receiver plugged into your computer <laughs> So you'll be playing with this mouse at 96 grams compared to the G Pro wireless, which is my main mouse that one weighs at 81 grams and then a respectable 78 grams without the little cover on the back of the mouse. So my first impressions on this mouse, I just barely got it unboxed and everything. The RGB, it's nothing to write home about. Uh, it's there for marketing. I mean, I guess it's a nice touch to have, but it's not the best. One thing I don't like, there is no way of telling which DPI you're playing at. There's a button where you can cycle between three different random DPIs but there's no real way of knowing what exact number you're on. So that's a bit of a flaw. There's no software, nothing like that. Overall, the mouse feels nice. It is definitely heavier than the G Pro Wireless. You can notice even without weighing the mouse. Well, I guess here is a sound test. Left mouse button. Right mouse button. Side buttons. Scroll wheel, I'm going to play around with this mouse for a few days and give a final thought on it, but so far it feels good. Catch you guys later. Alright, so we're going to be playing a little bit with this mouse and then the G Pro Wireless. Uh, let's slip on the RGB for ultimate gamer mode, let's see how well we do. Switching over to the G Pro Wireless now. We joined late, so I'm just doing half of a match. Half of a match, half of that match. 23 and 4 with that one. Let's go now. Ah, this mouse, huh? My final thoughts on it. It is nice. You gotta keep in mind the price point you paid for it, $25. So you can't expect too much. You can't hold too high of standards for this mouse here. But for what this little mouse brings, it is honestly awesome. The only bad things about it is that sometimes the sensor senses that you like move the mouse around and it randomly does that. But honestly, I've noticed no latency in between pushing buttons and it showing on the screen. And then compared to the G Pro Wireless, the buttons do take a bit more force to push down. I have noticed that. These are way faster to push 
than these ones are. And then another thing, I like this scroll wheel more than the scroll wheel on the G Pro Wireless. This one's silent, which is like weird, I guess, I don't know. And this one, you can definitely hear it when it's scrolling. And I don't really like that. This one just feels more smooth. So overall, do I recommend this mouse? Mm, yes and no. If you're wanting to get into gaming or have already started gaming and want to upgrade your mouse or whatever, don't get this. If it's your first mouse, get this. If you're wanting it not for gaming and you want a cheap wireless mouse, get this. If you want a good wireless mouse, get this. <laughs> I don't really recommend the G Pro Super Light unless you're after a super light mouse, but this coming in at like 80 grams and it's cheaper than it was before now that the Super Light has come out. Both of these mice are linked down below if you want to go check them out. And uh, with that being said, just go ahead and drop a like, consider subscribing. Catch you guys next time and uh, peace.